Hello, everybody out there on YouTube. We are the Middle Aged Guys, and we're coming to you again to talk about more geeky shit, video games as usual. And in this particular video, we are going to be talking about some of the classic consoles that are on the horizon coming to us soon. Okay. Um, before we even jump into all of that, let's go ahead and get the introductions out of the way. I'm the Reverend. The theme here. And I'm Grand Mouse One. Now, you see, Nintendo. When they went ahead and they uh, when they went out of their way and they uh, they no, brought out the NES Classic uh, console, Classic Edition. Um, let's just say that the first year they brought this out in 2016 was uh, exciting and disappointing all at once. <laughs> for the fact that uh, a lot of a lot of nostalgic gamers and a lot of people who were um, being introduced to a lot of classic games were really excited at the aspect of. A you know just a, a, a regular plug and play box that was actually made by the folks the original hardware manufacturers mm -hmm. was coming out and that it was going to be packed with with games okay now we're not talking about like um, the Atari flashback or any of the other flashback or compilation you know cheapy little compilation systems that you find in like Bed Bath and Beyond that's made by AT Games or any of the other um, you know fly by night third party manufacturers out there. Now, this is the first one that was made by Nintendo themselves, all right? And, um, yeah, like I said, 2016 was, was pretty disappointing. They only sold, like, 8 million of them worldwide. It was hard as fuck to, to get a hold of them. And they, you know, generally speaking, we'll be honest, they pissed a lot of people off because <laughs> they did not uh, take care of actually, you know, meeting the, uh, the demand of these. Uh, they had it in their mind that oh we're gonna get people talking about the uh, about the, you know the classic games again uh, because that's something that they're they're gonna be moving forward into but they really didn't they really didn't consider uh, the actual demand that was going to um, be engendered not just in gamers but also in casual uh, um, consumers when it came to this all right now off the heels of this they went ahead and they followed up with the Super Nintendo. Classic Edition, all right, which was released, um, which was actually released, uh, 2017. yeah, 2017, all right, and um, yeah, in 2017, well, this one came out in September of 2017, all right, and unlike the NES Classic Edition, they made sure that this was going to be in regular supply and that you would see this on a regular edition uh, on store shelves. Mm -hmm. uh, even now, if you go to your local Walmart or Target or GameStop or anything nice, else, you know. most likely be able to see, you know, mm -hmm. one of the Super Nintendo Classic Editions, all right? Now, the biggest difference on this is that, you know, they went out of their way. They included the second controller, so you didn't have to sit there and hunt down an extra controller for the console. And then also, the one thing that really went ahead, you know, they put the icing on the cake for this one. Sure, this one only has, like, uh, what is it, 20 games, all right, which is... 10 less than the um, the NES Classic Edition, but they made up for it by releasing out Star Fox 2. They included that here on the uh, on the system, all right? Um, with that, they went ahead, they re-released uh, the NES Classic Edition again, and that, like we said in the previous video, that broke records, was like the best-selling uh, game console in July, even though it launched on the 28th. So it went ahead and outsold everything else in like two days. Um, <laughs> and following that, um, other companies have started to take notice, all right? Uh, last year at FDS, Sega, they went ahead and they announced uh, that they were going to be putting out the Sega Genesis Classic Edition or the Sega Genesis Mini, all right? Which we'll actually talk about that a little bit later. But what we really want to talk about is that yesterday around 2 a.m., <laughs> Uh, Sony went ahead and they, they posted up on the PlayStation blog website that they are introducing the Sony PlayStation Classic Edition, which is the classic rendition of this original console right here. All right. Um, this actually isn't my, uh, my original console because it doesn't ah. have the, the AV ports in the back, but this is the original, original lid though. Uh -huh. that, I, that I kept because there was no way I was going to get rid of this uh, particular decal. All right. So 
This particular uh, console that they're putting out is going to be forty five percent smaller than the uh, than the original console. Huh, even it's going, than... yeah, it's going to be smaller, so it's going to be smaller than the PS one. All right, that they that they followed up with. Um, it's going to include two regular digital controllers, so these Better classic have. ones right here. All right. It's going to be loaded up with 20 titles, of which the ones that they've announced so far are Final Fantasy VII, Jumping Flash, Ridge Racer Type 4, Tekken 3, and Wild Arms. And um, it's set to release on December 3rd, 2018, for the manufacturer's suggested retail price of $99.99. USD. USD. All right. Uh, $129.99 if you're up there in Canada. All right. Okay. Um, what are they calling it? Well, they're just calling it the, the PlayStation Classic. PlayStation Classic. Um, <laughs> so now we've got thoughts on this. Okay. Uh, before I monopolize too much time, guys, what's your initial thoughts? Because it, it should be pretty obvious what Sony's going for right now, what, what they're aiming for with this. Uh, but let, let's go ahead and let's get that out in the air right now. <laughs> uh and people wanted to get rid of Nintendo, even though they innovate, they innovate, they innovate. Even though the Atari Classics came out, and but they weren't made by Atari. Nintendo did their own thing. Look, 20 titles. I guarantee you there are people out there saying only 20? Well, you got to look at it at the perspective of the 32-bit era, especially when it comes to the PlayStation. Um, yeah, they, they had more within their games. Um, depending on what titles that they are, because they, they just announced about five of them, so they got 15 to go. Uh, I have a couple of thoughts as far as what I would like to see on there. But, yeah, they're just following the leader of you know Nintendo and, and things like that. So I'm very happy to see it, but I do have some concerns. But before I get into my concerns, Grey Mouse, what are your initial thoughts? Well, um, about a year ago, we did a video about the uh, SNES Classic. And the next one up was the uh, Nintendo 64. And then we started speculating into the disc systems. And uh, I think if we recall this uh, conversation that we had was that it would be a little bit more difficult to do the disc systems per se because of the library, the vast library that the disc systems have. And PlayStation, I mean, I don't know exactly, I think there's over 600 or something like that, PlayStation games. There's so many PlayStation games. And how do you choose 20 of those games? And, you know, they use that catch-all uh, genre-defining, uh, uh, was it genre-defining or was it, yeah, genre defining. You don't have to search for the quote. Right. Uh, so, I mean, that, again, that's very subjective. But, again, so my initial thoughts is that, you know, um, PlayStation is uh, trailing behind uh, the uh, Nintendo, you know, with uh, coming out with things. But I don't blame Sony for this. I mean, it is a, might as well catch the wave while it's still – Still going. I mean, I, I mean, I you can't can't really complain about that. And there are probably people out there that already are up in arms about this. Oh, Sony's Sony's freaking uh, copying such and such, you know. And again, you know, we've said it before that without Nintendo, PlayStation or Xbox wouldn't exist, and especially PlayStation wouldn't exist. Because at a time, PlayStation, Nintendo were, or Sony and Nintendo were, uh, were bad buddies. But it's because of Nintendo, PlayStation was born. I just want to put that out there. So yeah, those are my initial thoughts. I'm glad that they're doing it. Now, let me go ahead and uh, just kind of shape the the conversation going forward for the for the amount of time that we have. Um, okay. Uh, pros on this so far that I that I I can go ahead and I can think of is that it's um, basically you have a, an easy to use plug and play box that's going to be um, connect up via HDMI 
It's it does 720p. It doesn't do 1080p, but that's because the original games only rendered out 240p, anyways. Right. So it fits better. Uh, it fits perfectly when it goes into 720p. Um, it comes with two controllers, uh, 20 games. I think the the thing that was probably um, determining, you know, how many games were going to be on the system is the fact that you know you're moving from. Uh, in comparison, the size of a of an of an NES game is less than the Meg. All right, maybe a few uh, mm-hmm. kilobytes big. Kilobytes. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, for most SNES games, you know, most of them are under four megabytes big. Mm-hmm. Okay, as far as the actual storage space they go, and then you have this jump from four megabytes all the way up to potentially uh, a full disc is like six hundred fifty megabytes. Uh, if you have a multi disc game, I think the the oh, largest right. multi-disc game. Well, the largest multi-disc game that was published for the PlayStation, I think, was was D, which was like five discs. Mm-hmm. And so that right there was like, you know, almost uh, 2.8 gigabytes big. So really one of the things that they're probably trying to trying to work with is how much storage they actually have in the system, especially keep it under 100 bucks. Mm-hmm. All right. And uh, the fact that it comes with two controllers is is pretty cool. All right. However, uh, and that's I would say that's probably the pros, okay? Uh, the one thing that we have to consider is that, you know, since the controllers are the original style controllers, uh, that automatically disqualifies any dual analog or dual shock. The dual shock. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people haven't really, I don't think yeah. people have caught that yet. Dual shock games are out. Yep. You know, so, I mean, uh, you know, like we always say when it comes to these boxes, you know, uh, the the libraries are so big. How do you pick just 20? You know, so people are going to, no matter what, people are going to be disappointed with the omission of some game on the on So now, So are they picking one game per genre? Are they going to do that? Because no. Ridge Razor Type 4, which is yeah. great. I still play that. No, no, they're not picking one per genre because they already have listed Final Fantasy VII and Wild Arms. Yeah, but, so, yeah. but you know, you 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 can't oversaturate it with one genre. I mean, yeah. do you, I'm surprised they didn't announce Gran Turismo for one. Um, you know, here's the thing about that is that the the thing about Gran Turismo or all the Gran Turismo games is that um, I don't. I don't even know if you if the original Gran Turismo is available on the in digital form uh, for PlayStation Three or 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 the Vita or the PSP. Mm. All right, because the thing the thing with uh, Gran Turismo that they have to worry about is licenses for mm-hmm. all the cars. All right, that's yeah. Uh, okay. Um, if in Cap, you know damn well Capcom is most likely going to be involved in this thing, like with maybe Resident Evils and stuff like that. But if Capcom, if you're going to put any one of your fighting game titles on this, you have to, I will suggest you go with this. <laughs> I, I, would, I would definitely put that on the wish list. Because, again, wait a minute. You don't see that anywhere else. Rival Schools 1, not on any other console, not, on, and not featured anywhere else. You see Street Fighters everywhere. You even seen Dark Stalkers go everywhere. So Rival Schools, the first one that hasn't went on anything else except for the first PlayStation. I mean, I I don't see why not. Yeah. Well, hold that thought. When we'll, we'll you know laying down for the games, all right? Um, one of the things uh, one of the things that a lot of people have brought up about this, you know, especially when I the things that I mentioned was that um, you know. Obviously, they're working really hard to keep this under a hundred bucks, all right, mm-hmm. or at least a hundred bucks on paper. Okay, uh-huh. one of the things that a lot of people have pointed out um, is the fact that it's powered by USB cable, but it doesn't come with a wall adapter brick. <laughs> <You know? laughs> um, what are your thoughts on that, Gray Mouse? You start us off since we we've been uh, uh you know monopolizing time for for the pros on this. All right, it's all good. I mean, it would be, uh, what, one of the, if I recall, it was just a two-prong adapter, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, just a power brick for, for, right. your, um, for your system. I mean, right. I've got crap loads of them laying around, but none of them close to me right now for some right. stupid reason. 
<laughs> no, um, that, that, that is frustrating. What are they going to do? Sell it to us separately? Yeah, for fifteen to twenty bucks, or for another thirty dollars. That's ridiculous. It's already costing a hundred. Nah, I'm, I'm being, I'm being uh, kind of callous here. But um, yeah, th- that's a major issue, and that's probably really only issue that I have with the with the whole thing. <laughs> so yeah. they're gonna they're gonna overstock the PlayStation classes, but they're gonna have miniature stock of the fucking. <laughs> Either that, or you're gonna flip it over and put uh double a or triple a batteries into the <laughs> into the uh into the unit oh no <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's it does suggest that you if you have a uh a five volt minimum one amp u s b uh adapter to go ahead and and power up the machine um because even, thank- even if yeah. <laughs> I don't even think your uh, your your fast charger uh, for your for your phone would work. Not enough uh, voltage on there. That's no, what I'm kind of concerned about. You know, no fast. No, here's the thing: fast chargers will work. The the reason why they're fast chargers is because they have a, a really high right, amp. Right. So I'm wondering if my phone charger would double up as mm. maybe that's what they're counting on. And again, this is the now what you guys are forgetting too is. This is a Japanese company, and I'm and I'm sure that they had that idea. And look, cell phones in in Japan is just it, it, look, they're everywhere. Um, um, my SNES and NES Classic come with one of the. I was just about to bricks. say. Um, I thought <laughs> right. that I thought Nintendo were a Japanese company too. And- well, they are, but what I'm saying, yeah, no, you got a point. But what I'm saying is. <laughs> There's just no excuse for this. <laughs> I, I'm trying my damnedest to fucking defend their position, and I can't. No, no. We, we, it, no. It, I mean, it, look, I, I have one. I have a fast charger. and We all do, yeah. but this should come with their own designated one. Right. Well, I, no, but I, no, 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 no. I don't want them to come up with their proprietary one. Where no, no, no. I mean, it should come with the scared. system. That's what I mean. Right. It should come in box with the fucking right, system. Right, right. Right? I'm not talking about separate where. No, no, don't, don't fucking PS. Don't fucking PS Vita memory card this bullshit. No, no, no. And Sony's known for that shit. That's I'm my saying. point. So. So, no. I, no, no, no. They don't need to have. One thing, they'll working. incorporate USB 5.0 instead of USB 3.0. And that's the only thing that you will, in that power brick. The most powerful one is you, the only one that you're going to need in order to play this thing. No. Or you don't have enough power in one, and then you plug it in, and it works for a little while, and then next thing you know, your shit conks out because, you, oh, well, you didn't have the right one to put it up in there in order to keep it working. That's ridiculous, and, and it shouldn't be where there's one freaking charger out of 50 stores that are around. I, I'm just saying, you know, no, don't do that. Well, yeah. it, what that what that really screams, all right, to me, mm. and um, you know, is is just that they're really, really cutting costs in order to sit there and try right. to keep this under no, under bucks. The same same deal with the controllers, all right. Literally, mm. man. I mean, well, either they've got either they've got an overstock of these fucking things, or they just did not want to include that. You know, they didn't want to sit there and shell out for the uh, the dual analog sticks and the fucking rotors inside. Oh. You know, I got a question. for so, for, for uh, dual shot controllers. <laughs> I got a question about the controllers. Is it going to uh, fit into the base like the NES Classic is? And the yes. Uh, so it's going to yeah. have a, a. Is it going to have a proprietary uh, yeah. connection, or can you use your own Mm-mm. your old? Uh, no, you that you just held up. Or are you gonna be able to use one of those? No, mm-hmm. you can't use you can't use the original one of these. Would there no. be an adapter to it, where it is? It is shaped. It is shaped. Uh, and the dimensions are exactly the same as these. Mm-hmm. However, the on the end, it's USB. Yeah, it's a USB connection for the end. Wow. Which means that those that those controllers you could actually plug into your into your PC and potentially use it that way. Or maybe um, your it's, PS4. Or, or or potentially your PS4. All right. How about um, wait, so? How about if you can plug in your PS4 controllers into it by the USB? on your PlayStation. So maybe your DualShocks will work. No, because again, you would need the freaking games that support it. 
Yeah. So, so I mean, there's no point in that. Yeah. Okay. See, that's the thing about it. Thing, Let's you know, talk. What's really sad about all this is that we're sitting in September, and I'm it's pretty sure. In December. <laughs> and I'm I'm pretty sure. So you got you know where I'm going with this. I'm pretty sure that everything's already is on the assembly line now, and <laughs> here in the next month or so, it's going to be especially that holidays are coming around and people don't want this for Christmas. And I'm saying it'd probably be on store shelves or in their, in their stock room in about a month and a half from now. So it's too late to include an adapter in the package. It's, it's too late now. No, it's not if they didn't show it up here on this, on this, on the thing, it, it's too late. Well, that, that, that is gone. Sure. Well, I would think that they would have the list of games by then, if that were the case, if it was ready to go. Well, if you look at if you look at that article, you'll see the box. If you see what the box looks like, oh and yeah, then, yeah. Mm-hmm. They set it to where you can't see the back because I mean, I, I still say I guess they're going to string us along until whenever when they decide to announce. They're going to hang us on a string. It's soon. But I mean, uh, I think that was a. I think a it was either an overlook or b. They were trying to keep the cost down to under a hundred. No, and no, they're, they're being they're right. being cheap. I'm I pretty sure they're right. being cheap. Yeah, yeah they're being. Because the thing is that you know, considering considering the um, considering the how big the amount of memory that's going to be going into this thing, that's probably going to be the most expensive single component on the board. What about memory cards? Memory. What about saves and stuff like that? Because your memory. No, it's going to be no. It's going to be uh, all the all the saves are all the saves are internal. All right. Yeah, all I mean, memory, no memory cards are going to be able to work, or no external yeah. stuff are going to be able to go into it. That was so like, no, yeah. guys, you cannot play. You cannot pull your your Final Fantasy VII memory card and stick it in there and and, and continue your game. You're gonna have yeah. to start over. <laughs> yeah. So not going to be yeah. playing anyway. I'd rather play I mean, this. I'd rather play uh, Loaded. Yeah. Let's rather play that, please. <laughs> let me let let's 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 jump into that. Let me let me say one one, one thing though. Um, what with with before we we jump into the games that we would like to see, all right, or like maybe you would name off one or two. Um, what what a lot of people have to realize is that for a hundred bucks and the fact that the the storage has to accommodate, you know, upwards of around I don't know, it's gonna have to it's gonna have to be at least probably thirty two gigs big, thirty two or uh, gigs, and it's not mm-hmm. a thumb drive, all right. It's got to be NAND memory, which is going to run everything, is basically like the the internal storage on on uh your your cell phone and stuff like that. But you know, wait, they make flash drives that are twenty five gigs anyway. So yeah, but it's not as fast as NAND memory, which is the storage on your cell phone, the internal mm-hmm. storage on your cell phone. All right, that's what's going to be running on this. Okay, now considering all of that and everything else. You know, Sony themselves are probably only making around twenty bucks at most per unit on this. Mm. Yeah, because I'm thinking that it's probably oh, costing right. like it. Well, which is one of the reasons why they didn't include that. You know, you know, but um, yeah, you know, there's a whole bunch of other things. But but we're, but, but that's like saying that uh, we're not gonna just make the argument that this thing won't sell. Yeah. Well, I'm 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 not saying that. Okay. But yeah, there was one thing that it's just something that I had pointed out with both the NES Classic and the and the the Super Nintendo Classic when we were talking about them. You no, know, what Nintendo's probably only making like at most five bucks on the on the NES Classic, like ten bucks on the on the Super Nintendo Classic per unit. Really, that's probably the most they're making off of each one. You know, actually, guys, it says in the fine print on the bottom, AC adapter sold separately. Yeah, so that's why I'm, that's why we addressed it. He's like, look, yeah, it's not yeah, with. it doesn't come but with a diagram here. It, 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 it shows what's coming with. It shows the HDMI cord. It shows the USB cord. It shows the two controllers, right. and it shows the deck itself for the PlayStation Mini, yeah, PlayStation Classic. It doesn't say anything about that. That's why I was like, wait a minute, that thing's coming separately. Yep, yep. I mean, it says yeah. it down there in the fine print. Ha ha ha, ha 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 ha. All right, we only have a few a few minutes left. Um, what are some games that you guys uh, would like to see? I- I'll let me go ahead and name off two. All right. Um, let's see here. Yes. The original Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. Yes. Because right. besides, besides the um, uh, the PlayStation version, 
you can't even find this on PC anymore. Okay. They they released it out on PC. You can't even find that anymore. Okay. Sad. The other one, I'm pretty sure you know, Resident Evil 2 is probably a shoe in uh, and, and a whole bunch of other ones. Um, but if I'm going to choose a Capcom game, really? this is what I would put on it. Yes. Hmm. All right. That or this, because it's never been okay. anyplace else. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's what I would choose. Okay. Right. What about you guys? Gray Mouse. Gray, Gray Mouse. I know Thieves already thrown out a few. What are a few that you mm-hmm, exactly. think would, you'd want to see? Uh, I would say uh, Jet Set Radio. That was for the Sega Dreamcast. Was it? I thought it was yes. for the PlayStation. Whatever. And uh, uh, just Castlevania. Castlevania Super the other night? Sure. I know you mentioned uh, you mentioned before we started um, recording uh, Wipeout. Sure. Yeah, the yeah. original Wipeout. Definitely. Wipeout, Wipeout XL. I would rather have the original Wipeout, though. That was awesome. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> Devil Dice. That's, Devil Dice. Uh, that's probably a dark horse. I don't know. If I that's know. The, I know. Show up. Yeah. Damn. I showed Rival Schools. I showed Loaded. Reloaded. So, please, Wipeout. Like, Gray Mouse was saying before we started, wipe out. Great. Demolition Derby. Something just man, Jesus. Just I'm just waiting for the list. Just waiting for the list. And when the once the list does come out, we will either be making a video to uh, praise it or scrutinize it or both, depending on what games are on there. Now, my Hail Mary plays before we finish up the this video, and I know this is Com- probably completely off the off the radar or anything that they've even they even fucking considered all the way up until the even before they they announced it out. This is one of my hail mary plays. Oh wow! All right, yeah, mm-hmm. because this didn't come out anyplace else. It's a great mm-hmm. fucking game. And my other hail mary play is that right there. Oh really? Yeah, that's my other hail mary play. Okay. Actually, I think that one has more possibilities going on there. Sakodin is football. a very Sakodin, that's genre defining. Yeah, but it's also Konami. That's what right. I'm worried about. Well, or, both, both Castlevania, Symphony yeah. of Night. So Sy- Symphony of Night or freaking Metal Gear Solid, but Metal Gear, but you need the freaking Dual Shock in order for Metal Gear Solid to actually work and be completed. Right. So that's not. I don't even think that's possible at this point. Another Hail Mary of mine, uh, if you're going to go Capcom again, Street Fighter EX plus Alpha. (laughs) Look, please, if you're going to put anything, yes, that. I have it over here. Just, just, damn it, that. Yeah. (laughs) Because, again, it hasn't showed up anyplace else. It didn't put anyplace else. Good-ass game. Was was Pocket Fighters on there? Yes, it was, but it was also on the Saturn. Yeah, right. And right. you could also get it on PSN right now. Yeah, too. you can get it in other places. Yeah, right. yeah. But yeah. or the rating or the rating project. Yep. But yeah, that's you know we're winding down here. That's you know what we'd like to see. Um, obviously, like like we said, you know, with just twenty games, they're going to disappoint. Going to be disappointing a lot of people because PlayStation library is really deep. Yeah. Uh, what we would like to know, folks, is what would you like to see on the PlayStation Classic as it's coming out? What are your thoughts on it? Do you think they're just pulling copycat or they're jumping into this Me Too, you know, uh, nostalgic uh, set-top box movement? Um, and I don't blame them if, uh, if if that's the case. You can leave us your thoughts, yeah, by making a comment below. While you're at it, hit like, hit dislike, whatever, whatever you feel like. Just make a comment. And if you really want to go ahead and follow us and you want to see more videos come out, we do suggest you subscribe. Hit those that bell icon to go ahead and turn on those notifications and you'll know whenever we go ahead and we put out a brand new video, whether it's us by ourselves or everybody together as middle-aged guys. Uh, with that, all of our bullshit on the PlayStation Classic ends right here. I'm the Reverend. The thing here. And I'm Gray Mouse One. Once again, for the benefits of Common Sense, Logic, and Copycats, Classic gaming. Yeah, that's what Sony's doing. But if it works, 
It works. So wait, are we going to have to turn our PlayStation Classic upside down and on on its side? <laughs> of I mean, they want to make it authentic, right? In, in about 20 years, maybe, eventually. But there's not going to be any discs spinning inside, so I don't know. But they're going to have the sound effects, though, is what I heard. <laughs> of the di- of the what? game of loading up. Loading? <laughs> really? Yep. Okay, Sega. Listen to me. Sega Saturn Mini. Sega Saturn Classic. Come on. Please. And you, Sega, make it. Don't have any of these other motherfuckers make it. I wonder why they skipped the Master System. But Sega Saturn. And then move on to Sega Dreamcast. Sega, you make this. Please make it happen. Yes. Credits. Yep, yep. Oh, fuck. Is that a part of the disc? God damn. 